Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and newly to Mercari. Um, today's video is part two of my ginormous 200 pound thread up bulk mixed clothing box. Uh, so this is the second box that I am unboxing. I just finished filming the first one, so if you have not watched that one, I'm gonna go ahead and link it up here for you to watch, but you can watch them in any order, it really doesn't matter. Uh, but this is box two. So um, as I explained in the first video, I will say again, um, I spent about almost $400 on this 200 pounds. So in this box is technically $100 worth of things that I have purchased. Um, so will I get my money back? We will see. So uh, we're just going to go through, look at everything. I'm going to try and give an idea basically of what I'm looking at as well as what I'm going to do with it. Um, am I going to sell it for myself on my own stores? Am I going to uh, send it to like a buy sell trade or am I just going to like donate it back to a thrift shop? The last time I did this video, probably like six months ago, I bought another thread up box. Uh, the video was really like an hour long of me just like trying to figure out what I was looking at and I wasn't giving good uh, information at least I didn't feel like I was giving good information about what I was planning to do with those pieces. So I have very quickly kind of just like looked through just so I can get a feel of what I'm looking at. Um, but I really don't remember what's in here. So we are going to be um, looking through it kind of like for with fresh eyes. Um, but I do remember that this box is um, it's very interesting. So yes let's get started there's a lot of stuff in here i don't want this to be like an hour-long video like it was last time so i need to hurry up so let's move on so starting off um okay not terrible is a uh, not your daughter's jeans size 12 clarissa ankle these are a bright christmas red kind of like are they skinny yeah oh are they they're kind of like a straight fit i wouldn't say that they're skinny Maybe slightly skinny, but maybe just more like a taper. Um, they look in relatively good condition. Now, colored jeans don't sell very well, but I'll definitely look up comps for this. I'll probably end up listing these. All right. Um, something that is new with tags from Fashion Union. I've never heard of that. This, like, off-white uh, lacy dress. That's cute. You know what? I think I remember. Yeah, so this, even though it's new with tags, this is like what confuses me sometimes about the things that I'm selling here. It's got like this weird, it almost looks like a sweat stain here at the front. Do you see that? It goes like down here and up. I don't know if you can see that. So even though it's new with tags, that's really confusing. Um, probably end up sending this to a thrift store. I could try and wash it, but it's white. I don't know. I probably will send this to a thrift store. It's not quite worth the time to try and get out of that, especially on like, it kind of looks like an Amazon brand. So, but I'll Google it and we will see. Uh, this one is Meadow and Rue or Meadow Rue or Meadow and Rue size four. Uh, sheer. It's got like this really cool like crochet type front on it. Uh, this one is sellable. I believe this brand, and I don't know if this exact piece was, but this brand itself has been sold at Anthropology, so I'll look and see if there's comps out there for it. But I think it's sellable, especially it's really cute, and it's got like like little pleats in the, the little crochet on the front, and a little tie here. Actually, this looks like a waist tie. Yeah, it's cute. Sellable. I'm happy with that one. This is, oh, okay, so this is Eileen Fisher. I got a couple Eileen Fishers in the last box as well. So this is a size large. Uh, viscose nylon spandex mix. I don't think they have years or anything on here. But these black pants. Just black like stretch lounge pants. These are cute. They're like wide leg black pants. These are sellable. I'm happy. I don't see anything wrong with them. Unless there's like a secret hole somewhere, but uh, they look good to me. I'm happy to sell these. Eileen Fisher, I love it. Next is something that feels like we'll be going to a thrift store. Yeah, almost famous. Um, this, I think that they sell this at like TJ Maxx in the junior section. I'm not 100% sure, but definitely something like that. Scrunched 
it feels a little worn. The white is very faded. It's like a jumpsuit. This will be going to a thrift store. This one, this one's cute. What is it, a cat print? Yes, but they're, okay. <laughs> so uh, this is a vintage cat print dress. Like cute little cats on there. Cute, so I like to give like close up so you can at least see what I'm looking at. Uh, orange cat print, but there's a big old hole in the front, literally right on the chest. There's like a big hole um, with, I don't know if you can even see it. It's right, it's right there. Big hole and like a big stain around it. So this one will be going to the thrift store. It's cute, it's like a vintage. If there wasn't a big hole in it, I'd probably try and sell it. Um, Crown and Ivy, this like really yellowed button down. This one will be going to the thrift store. Uh, this one probably as well. Let me see. I've never, oh, I don't know if I've ever heard of this. Design Lab by Lord and Taylor. It kind of looks like it could be a good brand. I will look it up. Just this lace sleeveless crop top. I'll look it up, but it kind of looks like it'll be going to a thrift store. Um, let's see. Primark. Interesting. I didn't think we had a Primark here. Do we have Primark in the in the US? I didn't think so, but maybe we do. At least I don't have Primark. I don't think we have Primarks here in Texas. Interesting. Uh, this is cute. It's a um, like hot pink silky button down. Um, probably not something I would have picked up at the bins, but I feel like there's a market for people that are looking for like hot pink stuff. So I'll list it, I'll look up comps and I'll probably list it, but I wouldn't expect more than like 15 bucks for it really. Uh, universal thread, size small, plain blouse, looks a little bit discolored. The white just doesn't look, well, yeah, it looks very yellowed all at the front here. So this one will go to a thrift store. Uh, Kim Rogers Curvy, size 2X, is that a tag? It is new with tags. Retailed for $45. Wow, okay. Um, I could sell this one. I'll look it up. It does have like that really nice, oh, you know what? There's like pen marks all over this. Yeah, never mind. This one's going to a thrift store. There's like pen marks all over the back right here. Uh, so this one will be going to a thrift store, which is unfortunate, but even if I were to sell that, I would probably get like 15 bucks for it. But this one, definitely something vintage. Let's see, San Gabriel, size seven, so that's a junior's. Okay, this clasp is broken up here. Um, like a vintage, like, dress. It looks interesting on the camera. Got like little daisies going down with a waist tie. Um, Oh no, this one's being donated. It's like all sewed up and glued here on the front. So this one's gonna go to a thrift store, which will probably end up just getting thrown away, unfortunately. Um, this is Haptics by Holly Harper. Oh, what's going on? It's not a hole, it's like a, um, oh, it's this side as well, like a cold shoulder, cut out shoulder. It's like cold shoulder on the side, and then it's like cut out on the side <laughs> uh, top. I'll look it up, but we'll see. I think stuff like this is very hard to photograph. It might end up just going to a thrift store. And this one looks interesting. Uh, Out from Under from Urban Outfitters. Okay. It's like a crop top, and it has like a V cut on it. But, okay, it's not... It's not like somebody cut this though. It was definitely made like this. So I could try and sell this one. Probably wouldn't expect more than 10 to 15 again. Uh, this looks promising. What do we got? Uh, Japna size small, 100% cotton chambray dress. It's got a button front. It's got like this little smocked back here, which is nice little ruffles at the bottom so I can definitely sell this this is probably one of the most exciting things so far cute I'm happy with that uh, this one oh so this one's a one this is a new to me brand I have never heard of this brand it's called 
Rich and skinny is a feeling. Uh, skinny jean. But they feel strange. They feel like they've got like, I don't know what is, let me see what the content tag is saying. It's probably the Lyocell. It's got Lyocell, cotton, rayon, polyester, and spandex. Size 24, so double double zero. Um, these seem to be, this brand seems to be like a really expensive brand. So it doesn't retail for quite as much, but I think I could probably get like 30 to $40 for these. I'll have to double check comps, but um, interesting. Maybe not quite that much because it is a double zero, but I'll sell it. I'll definitely list it and see what it is going to go for. Uh, this is American Rag. Now some pieces from American Rag can sell really well if it's like a really substantial piece. Something like this I will probably not sell. Just like a ruffled blouse. It's got a lot of like wash wear and pilling over here. So this is just going to go to a thrift store. And I think the same with this one. This one is Edifi, Edifi Studios. I'll look up the brand but it kind of looks like something that was sold at TJ Maxx. So it'll probably just go, it is a, is it a romper? Oh, it's a romper. I thought it was a mini dress. Okay, I'll look up the brand, but it'll probably just go to a thrift store. What else? This is not looking good. Oh, Monroe. Okay, so this can be a good brand. Now, this is just a plain white. It's white. Oh, gosh, I can't even speak. This is just a plain, like, gray top. Uh, but this brand, Monroe, can sell for good money. Questionable, but I don't know about this exact piece, but we'll see. I'll look it up. Oh, is there a hole in the front? Yeah, there's a big hole in the front. So this is going straight to the thrift store. Multiple holes in the front. So to the thrift store. Um, yeah, there's no saving that one. Uh, this is a vintage brand, Reflections, just like a white ribbed top. This one's probably going to a thrift store as well. And QPO, size 2X. This is just a black top. Plain black t-shirt, but it does also have like a lot of like wash wear and like the weird like sticky fuzzies that some of these shirts get. So this one's probably going to a thrift store as well, unfortunately. Uh, dress barn, size four. These look just like trouser pants, but they do look like they have those really nice, like people like those pleats at the front. I'll look up this sort of style, but I'm not confident that these would sell in any sort of hurry for any amount of money. So these may just end up going to a thrift store, but I'll do some research on that style to figure that out. Uh, this is cute, okay. Um, what brand is this? One Heart, I've never heard of this brand. Kind of just looks like one of those like TJ Maxx type brands. Uh, polka dot, kind of silky lace uh, cami. This is cute, I feel like this is very like Y2K style. I could definitely put some keywords in there. So I'll try and sell that one. Maybe could get $20 for it if I put in the right keywords to make it like Y2K styled, I guess. Um, Kranda, Kranda, size extra small. I have never heard of this brand. Um, yeah, this, okay. It was promising. So it's a kind of creamy, um, material. So it's got like a smocked bodice, Swiss dot sheer sleeves, and like a dress going all the way down. Got a ruffled bottom. I am seeing a bit, quite a bit of makeup staining on the front. So this is something, um, I think I spoke about this in the last video. What I probably do is with these boxes, I'll get together like a bunch of the stuff to try and wash it. Um, if the stains come out, I'll continue on to list it. Um, if they don't, then I'll probably just donate them or send them to a buy sell trade. I'm not going to spend so much time trying to get every little stain out of stuff um, just because the time that it takes is really not worth it for every piece. So I'll throw it all together, either do like an OxyClean sto soak or um, wash it in the washing machine. But if those stains co don't come out, it'll probably go to a thrift store. So this is Bobao, size Bo Bobao, Bo Bobu. Guess what it looks like. Uh, size small looks like a either like a midi or probably a maxi skirt actually it's got this nice ombre stripe 
Um, I'll look it up. Probably won't be selling this one. It really doesn't look like great material anyway. Probably will go to thrift store, but it does look cool. I could list it, but once again, if I took the time to list it, maybe $15. I really wouldn't expect much out of that one. This one, Shein, feels super cheap. This is going straight to a thrift store. I have sold Shein stuff before, but sorry, this is not getting sold on my website <laughs> or on my uh, shops. Uh, this is interesting. I really don't even know what this is. Uh, it's called Summer Race, but it's R-A-S-E. Race? Raws? Summer Raws? I don't know. Uh, size small. Weird, like, it's almost like a corset top, like, without any boning in it. Interesting. I could, it's got, like, a thing here on the side. You know, I feel like if I had, like, a Depop account and I was, like, modeling stuff... I could like play it up because this is somebody's like aesthetic, but it's so like frayed and stuff, which I think is intentional. Um, yeah, this one's going to go to a thrift store. I will not be bothering with that one. This is um, Old Navy size six low waist cargo shorts. Okay, this is interesting because so if you had asked me like a year ago if I would sold these, I probably would have said no. Um, but now, more and more, I'm seeing things like low-waist cargo shorts, or really just anything low-waist, low-waist jeans. All that is coming back into fashion, which is not my style, but um, I'll probably try and list these. Uh, I have no idea what I could get for them. I wonder, they look in relatively good condition besides just needing a steam. I feel like I will list these. I think that they are listable. Somebody is going to like them. Um, okay, Forever 21, size 12, mini shorts, probably, these will probably not be listed. They just don't feel great quality. Forever 21, a small size, missing a belt, probably go to a thrift store. Same with this one. This is just an old navy sleeveless blouse to a thrift store. If I wanted, if I really needed to sell this, I would maybe get like $8 for it, but... I wouldn't expect much. Uh, this is another kind of like similar style as the pink shorts mesh key size small. It's like these high waist mini shorts. It does have cute little buttons on the side which is nice but I'm seeing quite a few like marks and scuffs here. I don't know if it will show marks and scuffs here. It'll probably go to a thrift store. Um, yeah I'm not gonna bother with those ones. This is interesting. This looks like bridesmaid's dress, which, yeah, David's bridal. It is a bridesmaid's dress. Size six. There is a style on here, clover. Um, but it's such a strange color. It's like a high neck. This one will probably be donated. You know, I feel like this is something that will sit in my closet forever. Oh, and you know what? There's a bunch of like, there's definitely some sort of drink or something stained on here. The whole bottom hem is like completely covered in stains. So this one will go to a thrift store. I don't even want to bother with it. So uh, this one, this one looks actually really good. So this is American Rag size 2X. Again, like American Rag, some of it will retail for a lot doesn't necessarily resale um, but i would say that this is a more of a substantial piece it's like an all over lace dress i think it's cute it's got this really cute um back cut out especially being a size 2x as well come on now there we go this cut out at the back uh this is cute totally sellable as long as there's no major stains or anything if even if there was i'd probably take the time to soak it in oxyclean so i am super happy with this piece and that can go and be sold uh this is w5 i feel like w5 is like a tj maxx brand but i'll have to check it could be a little bit more than that but i don't think it is um kind of like the swiss dot white blouse it does have butterfly sleeves which are like, I think they're called butter sl butterfly sleeves, where they have these like short, flowy sleeves like this. Um, yeah, sellable. Wouldn't have picked it up at the bins, but sellable. I can list this one for sure. Um, 
this feels like some sort of linen. Um, Bryn Mar, M-A-W-R, a division of Bobby Brooks, it says. Feels like linen, but I'm not seeing a tag anywhere. Okay, no size tag, no content tag. Some sort of white pant. If I could figure out a size, if there's maybe a size tag hidden in here, um, I could sell the, I am seeing a stain on here. These ones will actually probably just go to a thrift store. If there's no size tag, no content tag, and there's a stain. Oh, and there's more stains up here. Okay, sorry, this one's going to a thrift store. Sorry, can't save them all, right? <laughs> uh, next up, I think these two are actually the same. So this is so this is possibly something that I could bundle together. Both of them are velvet heart size small. I think are they rayon? Oh, this one's got a little button attached to it. An animal print. I think it's an animal print. I don't know how to explain that button down long sleeve blouse. So this one I would probably pair with this one. They both look excellent condition. They're rayon, they're the same size, the same brand. I would say relatively similar styles, or sorry, relatively similar prints as well. They both have sort of like an animal print vibe going with them. Uh, these ones will be bundled together. How much I would get for them, I don't know. If I got 20 bucks, honestly, I'd probably be happy with that just to start making some money back from this box. But uh, let's keep going. We've got a Marona size 10. It looks like an eyelet lace navy blue pant. Okay, I am back. Let's finish off the second half of this box. Hopefully I can move a little bit quicker. I feel like I'm going a little slow. Um, this one, what was I saying about this one? Okay, I was saying that when I pulled this out, um, there is no discernible brand here. You can maybe, I can tell that there was a little bit of something there, but looking at the style tag, I see that it is one of my favorite brands to sell, and that is Soft Surroundings. Um, I love Soft Surroundings, um, especially because the styles are so easy to look up. Um, but this one looks like a really good condition. It looks like a, kind of like a floral, almost like a watercolor looking dress, long sleeves. Um, it does look a very cozy, like a polyester type of knit. So I would probably want to list this one sooner rather than later, uh, just because we're moving out of like the sweater dress type season. But I'm very happy with that. As long as there's nothing, as long as there's nothing like super wrong with it, it can definitely be sold. Uh, this is a candies size medium. I don't typically pick up candies even from the bins. Uh, but this is a cute print. I kind of wish that I had seen this before Valentine's Day or gotten these boxes before Valentine's Day because this is super cute. It's like a pink and a purple, like spotted, I would say almost like a cheetah print. Um, button down, long sleeves. Will I get that much for it? Probably not, but I'll list it, you know. It's not like I can't list it. Uh, somebody will like it. This is a New Tags Mason Jewels size medium black mini skirt. Super happy with this one. It says it retail for $50, $49.50. Um, yeah, little black mini skirt. Super happy with that. Um, because it only retailed for 50, maybe, I'll probably list it for like 25, um, but yeah. Next up, we have As You Wish black dress it does have these cute lace uh sleeves so this is something where now the brand is not super significant sorry the camera's like trying to adjust for all these like super dark and super light colors coming in um whoa this is debatable i'll probably look this one up i feel like if it was regular regular sleeves like it didn't have the lace sleeves i would definitely send this to a thrift shop but the lace lace sleeves definitely add a little bit more so i will look it up maybe i could get 15 bucks for it which will you know obviously every the more that i get the better you know um but i wouldn't like rush ahead and be like this is great you know uh this is love addy love dot dot a d y size small it does look like a juniors this like black and white mini dress it does have like a tiered um bottom with like a uh, white 
light, not lining, a white edging. There it is. I was like, what is that called? Like a white edge. This is cute. It's like a fit and flare type of dress. I'll look it up. Um, yeah, I'm not opposed to selling this, but we will see. We will see about that one. I'm not gonna like rush ahead and try and get it listed. Um, this is an atmosphere. This is interesting. It's like a geometric, geometric, kind of like a shift dress, sleeveless dress. It does have a cute Peter. I think this is called a Peter Pan collar, which is definitely a keyword. Um, I'll be listing this one. I think that it's it's not quite white. It's like a grayish, um, like off white color, but. This dress, listable. I have no idea what it would go for. I don't think Atmosphere is like a super fancy brand, but we will see. Uh, we have a Joey size medium. This one will probably go to a thrift store, just like a sheer red blouse, nothing special. This looks interesting. Uh, Margaret M, a skirt. It's like a salmon pink skirt, but it has this like really interesting kind of stretchy texture to it. Now, I don't know if this exact piece was sold, but I know that this brand is sold in a Stitch Fix box, um, which I do like selling Stitch Fix, Stitch Fix pieces, I think because people are actively getting those pieces and they're looking for them on the secondhand market. So if this is something that is sold or like was recently sold in a Stitch Fix box, I will look and see how much it's worth, but if it's not, I don't think it's quite substantial enough. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? This is interesting. R R D Toil, R D R D O T Y L E. Who knows? Size small. Um, it's almost like this popcorn knit gray cardigan. Listable, not great. As long as there's no stains or anything on it, I could probably list this one. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We are kind of moving out of this weather, so I may decide to just donate it. Um, but I don't think like a buy sell trade will take it because we're not quite in the sweater weather anymore. I mean, it's February and it was 85 degrees yesterday in Texas, which is crazy. Although today's a little bit colder, but 85 degrees in the middle of February, what is that? <laughs> that is crazy. Um, this time last year we were having like a major ice over and then like last week we also had like a major like four day freeze as well so and now it's 85 degrees so who knows oh, that noise is so annoying they're doing like construction back there and it sounds like an alien I don't even know if you can hear it okay it's like fading away I'm gonna keep filming hopefully the construction noise is not too bad um, this is an interesting, it's a mini dress, green mini dress, but it's got like this little lace, um, kind of like insert on it. The back is like a lace panel, but the front is like a lace, like insert here. Um, I don't see a brand or a size. If it's hidden in here, I can try and look it up. May end up just going to a thrift store. All right, what else do we got? This, let's see. Uh, Air Apostle Extra Small a Romper. So I do really like selling rompers. Extra Small Air Apostle, that's a maybe. I'll look it up, you know, it looks in really good condition. Um, could I get 15, 20 bucks for it? Maybe, maybe. So we'll see. I think I'll probably will list that one. This is a Shein skirt. Shein floral skirt. Um, yeah, I don't sell she and stuff anymore, so this one will be going to a thrift store. Hopefully someone else can find it and love it. Uh, this is Express, just like a basic tee. This one will be going to a thrift store. Um, this one, let's see, Laura Ashley. So some sort of vintage, although I'm seeing a lot of stains on the front here. It's a cute print. I could try and throw it in with my big wash that I'm doing. But very interesting print. It's like a nice thick cotton dress. Um, I could list this one. You know, I sometimes I think like these like vintage, almost like house dresses, they can sell for good money. 
it needs more research, but it's uh, sellable. I wouldn't say that I'm not going to sell it, but it needs more research for sure. This feels extremely cheap. Um, and there's no brand in here. Okay, so this one will probably just be donated. It feels so cheap. Like, you wash it once and it's going to fall apart. So I will not be listing this one. Interesting. This is like a vintage cargo vest. This one is sellable. I don't hate, although... It's only got one of these little like shoulder pleats. How interesting is that? Here's one on this side and it's missing one on this side. This will probably, probably get donated. Yeah, especially I don't see a brand. I don't see a size. Oh, there is a size to say small. Yeah, probably going to a thrift store. Maybe, I'll look it up, but especially cause it's only got one of the little shoulder bits there. That's a little strange. Um, Marona purple sleeveless blouse. We'll just go to a thrift store. Um, another, what is this? Another dress barn size, another size four. So I had one of these earlier. I might try and bundle them up. They look like the same style with like these pleats at the front. I could actually bundle these together and see if I could sell them as a pair. Yeah, they look good. They don't look in bad condition at all. So I'll try and bundle them up, see if I can sell them together. Um, yeah, maybe. They may go to the thrift store. We'll see. This is some weird type of like boat neck blouse. I'm not seeing any sort of tags. Oh, there is a tag on here. It's 100% cotton. There is... There is an RN number, so I will look up the RN number in here, but I'm not seeing anything at the top. It doesn't look terrible. Kind of like this tropical boat neck blouse, 100% cotton. I'll definitely Google that one. If it's not more of a substantial brand, it'll probably end up going to a thrift store. Uh, Market and Spruce. This is a Stitch Fix uh, brand, size small blouse. It does have this really nice like embroidery at the front. So I will list this one for sure. As long as there's no, there are a couple stains on here. Okay, I'm seeing a couple marks on there. So what I'll probably do, throw it in my big wash that I'm doing with everything. Um, but if those stains don't come out, I'm not gonna spend a, a long time trying to get them out. Another pair of white pants, Talbot. This looks like a newer Talbot uh, tag. Size 8, signature fit. There, it says 2014, so it's probably not that new. 100% polyester, white pants. These one, I mean, if they're like absolutely flawless, which they are not, I'm seeing a bunch of stains on here already. So that means that these ones are probably going to a thrift store. The camera like just doesn't like all the white stuff. Yeah, to the thrift store. Um, this looks interesting. It looks more substantial. Oh, Marmont. Okay. Marmont's like an athletic brand. I don't think it retails for that much, and I also don't think it resales for that much at all. Um, and I'm seeing, seeing quite a few stains here on the front. Oh, and all over here. These look like really weird stains. Yeah, like just yellowing and stuff. This one will probably go to a thrift store. It's just like an athletic quilted sweater probably end up going to a thrift store this is interesting hinge so this is like an embroidered sleeveless blouse it does have like a keyhole at the back and nice embroidery at the front um it could be a linen blend let me see no it's 100 percent cotton so I could list this one. I wouldn't expect it for, to go more than like 20 bucks, but it's not terrible. I have sold a lot of things like that in the past, but I also do have a lot of things like that listed already. Um, this is Blue Rain. I think they sell this at Francesca's, but I think they also sell it at TJ Maxx. But super pretty. White blouse, got an embroidered front, Swiss dot, ruffles at the bottom. Um, 
I don't see any really obvious stains on here. I'll look at it close look at it closer under the lights, but yeah, I could totally sell this one. It looks very nice. Super cute blouse. This does not feel promising. <laughs> Um, I'm not seeing, yeah, I'm seeing cutout tags. This will probably go to a thrift store. Some sort of smocked skirt. No, it's got a big old, no, it must be a skirt. Yeah, to the thrift store. It feels very cheap, very like it'll fall apart within a couple wears. Uh, Lumiere, I've actually never, I have never heard of this brand. So this one's gonna need some research. Lumiere. I've never actually, I've never even like seen this tag before. Not even at the bins or anything, which is weird. Um, what is this? <laughs> okay, so it's like a blouse, but it has like a tie, a tie top here. Um, if the brand is substantial, I will sell it because it's like a snake print, but otherwise, I'm not hopeful. I'm not hopeful. It feels a little cheap. <laughs> Um, okay. All right, okay, so this is, so this is a brand, it's called Nightcap. Um, they do, I don't know if it's really vanity sizes, but they do sizes like, I don't know if it starts at one or like 0.5 or something like that. But this is a pair of black lace flare pants. So this brand can be very expensive. A lot of their stuff can retail for like upwards of $200. What this exact piece will sell for, they look in really good condition. So I don't hate them. Yeah, I could probably get at least 40 bucks for these, if not more, especially if they retailed closer to that $200 mark. I could be looking at like 50 or 60. This is nice. Okay. We have a winner. We have an absolute winner. I'll show you that tag. Uh, see, the tag doesn't look like much. It's like deceiving. And this is a size one. Let me show you. It's like a deceiving. It doesn't look like a great tag, but that is what it looks like. Nightcap. Oops. Keeps trying to focus on my face. Get out of here. There we go. Nightcap. Okay, so I'm actually really happy with that. That'll be fun. This is Kato. Possibly a cotton... <sighs> you know, I could, does, it really doesn't look like much, but if I listed this and I put in um, like boho, I could put in like peasant, um, I might even put in like um, lag, log and look, lag and look, however people say it. I feel like this could sell. It's like a Kato blouse, but it's got pleating, it's got buttons, it's like a sheer kind of like um, natural material. Maybe. Maybe that is definitely a questionable find. Um, a New Day, which is Target, size extra small, some sort of black trouser pants. Uh, this one's cute. It's actually got like a paper bag waist on it and a belt. So I will actually probably list these ones, even though they're just Target brand. I feel like they're definitely more in style. There are a couple threads hanging off, but as long as they're not holes, I think. This one is sellable. I'm happy with it. And okay. All right. Yeah, I don't think so. So this is a Victoria's Secret pink Sherpa jacket, but the Sherpa is very like matted. I'm seeing some stains at the front. Probably going to go onto a thrift store. If the Sherpa wasn't as bad of condition, maybe, but I don't think so. Um, Mark New York. Interesting. It's almost like a sunset colors dress with a belt. Sellable. You know, not a brand I would pick up at the bins, but it's cute. It's not terrible. I can sell this for sure. It's just a dress. Um, something with a bunch of stains on the arm that I can already see. Uh, Boston Proper size medium. So stuff from Boston Proper can sell. It's like the sheer white uh, lacy mini dress. What I'll probably do is, and I'm seeing quite a few stains. Yeah, like all over here on the sleeve. Um, they kind of look like they're, it's like more stuff just like sitting on. It's not like really old stains. So what I'll probably do is throw this into the bin that I'm doing the OxyClean soak with. 
um, and see if those stains come out. But obviously I'm not going to take the time and try and get all these stains out of this white piece because it'll just take forever if it even works. Uh, Van Housen size small, a sleeveless kind of sheer blouse. I could list this one. Um, I might actually list this one just to try and start working on getting my money back for this box but I probably wouldn't expect more than like 15 bucks for it unfortunately but it's not terrible it's a cute print um it feels like good quality this is maybe another bridesmaid's dress uh tfnc london some sort of like creamy um like blush pink dress um it looks like it's definitely missing some sort of straps here this piece is all weirdly deformed what is going on here okay this one's gonna oh and it's very yellowed back here so this one's gonna go to a thrift shop i'm seeing stains at the front it's not worth the work that would go into it unless that brand just happens to be like a really expensive brand i'm probably just gonna send it on to a thrift shop and see if somebody else wants it um what is this tickled teal size extra large have not heard of this brand like moto pants got like pleating it's got pockets it's kind of like a weird like stretch like compression pant material interesting i'll look it up but i think this one will end up going to a thrift store probably same with this guy this is from windsor a little scrunch mini dress probably just going to a thrift store Um, what do we got? Um, a libaceous, just like a black sleeveless blouse. This one's probably also going to a thrift store, just not substantial enough. Not enough keywords in there, you know, just a black sleeveless blouse is like, there's probably a million of them listed. Uh, Southern Tide size two. I think I have heard of this brand before. I feel like it's kind of on the same level with Vineyard Vines. Kind of looks like that. Um, mini shorts. I will look these up. If they go for more than like 20 bucks, I will list them. Yeah, we are kind of moving in this web into this like mini short weather, so I'll list these. Not terrible, not great. Probably wouldn't have picked them up at the bins. This feels very cheap. Yeah, Essentials by ABS, some sort of vintage brand. I've actually never heard of this exact brand, but maybe. Um, some sort of like sequin stripe dress with like a, uh, flutter sleeves again, but yeah, the whole sleeve is all messed up. So this one is going to go to a thrift store. It's cute though. I think if it was in better condition, I could have listed it, but look at that little boy. The little boy. Let's see, what do we got? Uh, this is Casper, size six, like career wear blue dress, sorry, blue skirt. This one will be donated. I'm not gonna bother listing that. Another sort of like vintage type piece. Let's see. Briggs, size eight, 100% polyester. It's got a belt, which is interesting. It smells like mothballs. Um, let's see, let's just put this together. It does have like that pleated front again, but I think this one's also gonna go to a thrift store. I'll Google it, but I don't think so. I don't think it's gonna go for very much. This, let's see, Daniel Rain, size medium. I could list this one if I was struggling to get my money back on this box, but I feel like it's gonna like, sit for forever. So probably it will be donated. Same with this one. I haven't heard of this brand. It's called Rio Rio Made in Vietnam. Size so small. I will look this one up. I have never heard of this before. It looks like it could potentially be an expensive brand, but yeah, this top is not terrible. It's a little bit got a little bit of wash wear, a little bit of fading, just like a blouse. If it's an expensive brand, I'll list it, but I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so, unfortunately. The end here, I think it gets pretty bad. Divided tank top. This guy's gonna go to a thrift store. Um, 
This one is sellable. Uh, Lumiere size small. Interesting color, but it does. It is like this one of these like, um, like sweater material shirts with like a puff sleeve. I have one of these in my closets right in my closet right now that seems to be getting a lot of attention. That's cute. As long as there's nothing wrong with it, I could list this one. I would have to look and see how much it would go for, but listable, listable. I don't hate it. Um, this guy, Bozolo, Bozolo, size medium. I think he's going to go to a thrift store, just like a tank. This one, Sag Harbor, 100% acrylic blue sweater. Also probably going to a thrift store, just plain blue sweater. We've got, we're almost there, just a Marvel t-shirt. No, it's not a Marvel t-shirt. I think there was a Marvel t-shirt. Uh, this is, I don't know what brand this is, it just says size, it just says small. Graphic tee, I'll probably just go to a thrift store. Another sort of like t-shirt, this says Joyce. I'll look up this brand, but, oh interesting, I think it's inside out, hold on. All right, I will look up this brand. I've never heard of this Joyce before, but it's like this, these like winged pieces here, but it just looks like really cheap quality. Probably end up going to a thrift store. And the same with this, this feels not great. It is a no brand, some sort of vintage skirt feels really cheap it's online You'll probably go to a thrift store probably not even gonna bother listing that one another looks like a vintage piece yeah sac harbor 2x skirt floral the elastic seems pretty strong so probably not for my thrift for my thrift store for my poshmark store probably not worth the time if i were to list it i would maybe get 15 dollars, maybe um okay uh express new tags size small it looks like a boat neck knit sweater but it has this really cool tied uh like shoulder accent right here so this is listable uh, being from Express, I wouldn't expect that much from it, but I'm happy to list it, especially if it's new with tags. We are almost there. Uh, another vintage white stag, size 20W, 100% rayon, floral dress. Probably not going to a thrift store. Um, what else? A... A no brand, a like a tiered yellow skirt, probably going to a thrift store. It just feels really cheapy, like it's gonna start falling apart. Um, if it was something like a little bit like a cotton or like a more substantial, but it really just feels like a, like a polyester. So probably going to a thrift store for that one. Um, oh, this is the same as that other one. Yeah, so I there was a pink skirt in here that I said was maybe from Stitch Fix. There's another one. Uh, Margaret M in like a blue color. So I may bundle those together Depending on if they're worth anything. I could list them separately, but I may try actually bundling them together I feel like they may sell better if they're the same size. I think they were both a medium. I'll have to check but Bundle maybe maybe bundle them together Next up Gabrielle Union size small this one Probably going to a thrift store. It looks a little bit yellowed for my taste. And the last two items. What do we got? Uh, Mono B. This one's going to a thrift store. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm like, I feel like I'm like losing my voice now. <laughs> uh, to a thrift store for that one. And this one, Stephen Allen. It doesn't really have a size, it just has a P on it, which maybe is small. We would have to see. Um, I've never actually heard of this brand, so I will do some research on this brand and try and figure it out. But it looks like it could be a substantial brand, but I've never heard of it. Does feel like mm, cotton, maybe? 
Yeah, 100% organic cotton. It does say made in the USA. I always love when I see these tiny little made in USA tags. That's always kind of an indicator that something's a little bit more high end. Uh, yeah, need some research. I'm not going to say anything for sure, but listable, not terrible. And that, and that is the end of this box. So final thoughts on this box. Um, not great, not terrible. You know, I think I said this with the last box. I think it's more or less what I expected. Um, a lot of lower end brands, nothing super crazy. I think, I think I had an Eileen Fisher piece in this brand. There's like fluffs flying in the air. Um, will I make my, so for this box, if I spent almost $400 and I got four boxes, will I make $100 back from these items? Yes, I absolutely believe that I will. Um, will I profit more? Most likely, yeah. I definitely think that I could at least double my money for sure, but I'm not sure that the amount of time that it'll take me to go through all these things, to um, to inventory it, to photograph it, to list it, wash what needs to be washed. Like, I don't know if that amount of time was quite worth um, what I'm seeing here in this box. Um, I'm not like mad. I'm not like, I think I said this the last time as well. I'm not mad about what I got, you know? I think um, it's very much what I expected. Um, I didn't really expect much more from this. I will say this box did seem to have a lot of like vintage pieces. My last boxes, the one that I opened just in, like an hour ago and then the one I had like six months ago, hardly any like just actual vintage pieces. This one seems to have a lot of like vintage, no brand or pieces in it, uh, which is interesting, but yeah, I think it's definitely like luck of the draw. Like, what are you getting this time? But I really hope you liked this video. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Um, if you have not seen the first box, I'm going to go ahead and link it up here again. But I think that is it. I really I appreciate you guys staying to the end of this video. I think this one is a little bit longer than usual, um, but I really appreciate it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! Thank you.